Yeah, it's been pretty good. Uh, I've, I've been in you know, for a good, good month now. Uh, and the boys they were looking pretty fit when I got back and you know, they've, they've, stepped up, they've upped it a level this year I think and uh, you know, like I say it's only two weeks away, it doesn't seem two minutes since we were last playing but you know, we'll, uh, we're looking forward to the challenge and uh, you know, it's a big game against Saints, uh, no not, not better way to kick it off. We're going to say we're going to, we want to try and win all the trophies, uh, I don't think it's an unrealistic goal for us because I think we can do it. So, and obviously the grand final is the main one they'll fall in at the last third or twice over the last two years so that'll be the main one I think. Hopefully each year you, you learn a little bit more and you hopefully improve and uh, whilst ever we're doing that we'll be pleased as a club and I think for the last number of years we've done that. But, uh, you can't keep your old legends forever, um, everybody has their, their time to move on and uh, you know we appreciated everything each one of our former players did and they've always been part of our Wolves fabric but it's on with the young people that are coming through as well as some good established players who get more opportunity to lead up. We've got some tremendous leaders um, within the mid ranks of our club as well and uh, they're stepping up to you know, uh, become leaders and, and uh, they've learned a lot from some of those older players that have moved on. Oh, it's a massive honour to, to captain a team that you've, you know, you've learned to love over the last you know, 12 years that I've been here. And, no, we, we've both we've both got different kind of leaderships in me and Michael and uh, John. There's a lot of others in camp as well, so uh, you know, there'll be lots of help around there. But uh, you know, uh, but, but like I say, yeah, yeah I'm over the moon and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, to to the start of the year. What was it that sort of attracted you to the Wolves? What was it that sold the, the whole team? To you? Uh, the history and its um, competitiveness, um, obviously, over the last few years and uh, what they've achieved. Uh, Obviously, besides the fact of not um, getting close to obviously holding that trophy at the end of the year, apart from that, for me, it was all about reputation, knowing that there was such a, a competitive side that uh, eventually success will come, and I'm hoping it'll be at the end of the year. I think we can, um, yeah, really, yeah, really do do a lot, a lot of things in Super League and win a lot of things as well. Um, we've got, like I said, we've got a young squad. We've got like positions are up, up for grabs, and uh, I think if someone's going to going to like get injured or big names going to get injured I think that there's definitely going to be lads waiting to fill them boots and do a good job too. And that free-flowing style that, that they like to play as well did that have any influence with, on, with the way that you play? Yeah it will definitely a lot I think I thought about that like before I signed and a lot of people said oh it'll suit your game and stuff like that and it yeah I think it will and even in the friendly against Widnes there was a lot of like, offloads and second phase players that just just came to me and it, it, it just looked, yeah, looked like myself in that team. If we keep on improving, well, you, it gives you a better chance each time. If you start going backwards, um, well, that's where disappointment uh, comes in as a coach. So, uh, yeah, as long as we keep progressing, I'll be pleased.